important approach is to have time for discussion, all the issues with the students, and I really find that all the times I have been teaching here and I've been doing it for many years, the students are always extremely uh, eager and ready to discuss everything, to um, criticize openly different opinions if that is the case. And this is, I think, a, a, an important aspect. The other one that I would highlight in terms of methodology is our preoccupation to bring together academics and therefore theoretical perspectives on human rights issues, human rights issues, but also practical issues. And that's why we often also bring experts who would not be described as academics. So I think that if you consider all the aspects of the EMA program, you would say that connecting um, theoretical, practical approaches, the uh, permanent or recurrent discussion with the students in a very open-minded way, and this, this possibility of these field trips, and then in the second semester the possibility of going to one of the 41 universities that uh, form the, the, the network, it is probably, and I would imagine the students would, would recognize it, a very special opportunity to have, I would say, a unique experience in terms of doing a master's in, in human rights. A very important role of the students is to discuss, you know, whatever matter we are talking about in our classes or in our smaller groups. Um, but I think they have another important role in that this is namely or in particular taken by, the, not only, but particularly by the students' representatives. And we take very seriously any suggestions, any criticisms, um, you know, anything that the students have to tell the professors. But this being said, it is also the case that quite a few of the students are actually very active people. This then reproduces itself somehow in the alumni association, which is also these days quite active. The network of present and ex MS students is something very significant in numbers and we do know that a lot of our alumni are now working in major international organizations either in Europe or somewhere else, which is of course a very good thing to know because it corresponds somehow to the original reason why Emma was created in the first place.